Hello everybody and welcome back to RuneScape. This is episode 101 of this Let's Play series and today we will be doing something. We'll be working towards my goal, I think, of getting all levels 30 plus. I think that's the perfect thing to do now that I'm total level 1000. Combat 62. And I just realized I got the volume wrong. Oh yeah, that was that was loud, wasn't it? Uh, bright energy. That's junk. <laughs> Don't need that. Um, which skill do I want bonus XP in? Why is this... Whatever. I want bonus XP in... Fletching. Where is Fletching on here? Here. There we go. That'll help. Now, I need to fix this. Because this is annoying me. It's There we go. Okay, this thing's flashing for some reason. Oh. I don't know. Stop flashing. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and... We'll just head up to Edgeville for now. That's usually... A, well, no. Let's just take care of Divination right now. Why not? We're here. We need the XP. Don't have any daily task for it, as far as I know. Daily, yeah, we got coal, cooking urn, honey badgers. Hmm. Uh, pest control, no. Pickpocket, no. I mean, that one's tempting and all, but it'd take forever. Not really prepared to spend that much time pickpocketing today. So instead, we will go for Divination 30. Slayer, hmm. Kind of want to do Slayer. There's been some updates today, specifically uh, related to bosses and Slayer and stuff. Some kill counts that they're going to start tracking for various things. They also updated the graphics for Dust Devils and Smoke Devils. So those finally won't look like they were made in 2004. And also, apparently they did more Bat and Scorpion upgrades, even though I thought they already did that. Although I did see that Scorpions hadn't really been updated, even though they'd list them before. So maybe they fixed that, and maybe they fixed the bats they had missed, such as the bats in the uh, Brimhaven Agility Place. Which we had noticed before, I think. There was bats somewhere I noticed that hadn't been updated. Anyway, how long is this going to take to get one level? Oh, not long at all. Very nice. Hunter is going to be a bit boring, but we've got enough bonus XP to get all the way to level 30, I think. So that'll be good. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, okay, what else? Runecrafting, that one's going to be easy. I haven't been to Runespan in a while. It'd be nice to go. Haven't really gotten any daily tasks for it, though. That's why we haven't really been going. Now, something I noticed... Okay, good. Sometimes it just resets to balance for whatever reason. I don't know why. But I wanted to check it out first. Make sure that it was on the right path. I think I'm probably going to stop at Divination 28 for today. And go on to a different, more interesting skill. Just because I feel like, you know, we just passed 100 episodes. I want to do some cool stuff like Slayer. I think we're strong enough to finally take on those lesser demons. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Come back here. Yeah, level up. Then again, this is a good way to get the hunter experience we need. Wow, look at all that stuff. We can now do box traps. We can trap ferrets. We can do Eagle's Peak, which I might want to do, actually. We can catch all those things. White rabbits, giant eagles, combat skill chompas. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm happy with it. Chronicles are a great way of training for Hunter. At the low levels, at least. My Rhino is wiggling his ears and stuff. Good Rhino. Let me actually go ahead and load up the news so I can see what else there was. I'm surprised the spider didn't come out this week. They've been talking about it so much I just thought it would, but apparently not. And whoops, I just loaded up the wiki instead of runescape.com. 
I'm smart. They've added more of those retro armors, which I'm not a huge fan of spending money to get outdated armor. Looks like that should be free. Okay, yeah. So they're going to be... They put timers for bosses, so you can see how long it takes you to kill them. Which is interesting. I'm not a bosser myself. The only bosses out of the list I fought is Giant Mole and... Giant Mole. But hey, look at that. We got level 28. Hooray! Yeah, it's Giant Mole is the weakest one. There's Queen Black Dragon, Jad. Obviously, I have fought Jad, but I don't do that for fun or anything. I did that because I needed to. That's the timers. They're on the harder ones for the most part. Now, the kill counts are on a lot of different things, including the Giant Mole, King Black Dragon, Barrows, Chaos Elemental, Calphite Queen, etc., etc. Pretty much every boss and a variety of higher level slayer monsters which is cool I'm not really sure what it's going to be used for but they do say that there will be bonuses for having kill counts I don't know if that's like overall for all of them or like kill this amount of a certain creature and you get a bonus we'll find out they've also been working on legacy mode some more apparently rumor is that they've kind of messed up the effigy drop rate because of the combat level changes, because the chance is based on combat level. But a lot of stuff has changed since the last time we had the level 138 calculations going. So that's interesting. One thing I did confirm was that the Slayer XP rate hasn't changed. It's still the same XP, at least for some. I haven't checked all of them, but I'm happy about that because I didn't want to have to redo my entire Slayer calculator on Orbscape again. Let's see, anything else? Uh, there's the patch notes I'll have to check. I do always like Slayer related updates because I don't do it all that much, but it is a skill that I am a fan of. It, it's the, pretty much the only thing that, oh, the only thing that convinces me to actually do combat. We got an enriched. Okay, loading up the patch notes for today. I'm going to skip right to the ninja stuff. You can put seed aside in your pocket slot now. And you can also use it while pickpocketing for the uh, master farmers and stuff, but it won't, it won't give you experience in that situation. It's just so that you don't have a full inventory, which is useful, but it'd be nice if it at least gave, like, 0.1 experience. Let's see. Oh, you can combine the the um, clover amulets now if they're the same type, which is extremely useful. Really helps me clear out my bank in my main account. I think we have some duplicates on this account, so next time I go to a bank, I'll take care of that. I've kept doing divination, even though I said I wasn't going to. But fine, we'll go all the way to 30. Let's see, anything else? Um, you can quick chat your Slayer points, apparently. They got rid of some trees near the Sears Village Divination because they were getting in the way, so that sounds useful. Um, they updated the Summoning Scroll cast animation. That thing was pretty outdated, so that's good. 30 second delay when trying to re-enter the Calphite King boss room. Um, I saw something important. Oh right, the construction and summoning outfits give a extra 1% bonus when you're wearing the full set. So instead of 5%, you get 6%, I guess. Or something like that. Like most of the other sets work nowadays. Which is good. I honestly thought they already did that, because like I said... Most of the other sets do that already. Okay, what's new at level 29? Just transmute coal. Okay. We're going all the way to 30. That's good. That means the next daily one we get should hopefully be at the next place and not this one. So that's a good motivation to get 30, I think. And I think 
Hmm. Next episode, we might do a quest. I want to get more quests done. Oh, yeah, that's something else. They updated the adventures log to finally not be slow and look better, and they're going to be adding the skill history thing, which I'm a big fan of. I like keeping track of how well I gain my skills. That's been something I've been looking into on my main account recently, is for the past year or so, I've been dropping in the high scores pretty fast because I haven't been playing all that much, and I'm kind of trying to maybe maintain my score a bit better now. Not really regain my old position, but just keep it from dropping any further. Because I don't have that much free time. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, we need fletching. That's going to be boring. Farming is going to be the biggest issue, and we should probably go to Catherby and check out... That's our general... What was that? Oh, we're wearing one of these. I didn't even know that. Four charges remaining. Okay. No, we'll keep going. Hunter, that'll be easy enough. Slayer, I think we'll do fine because those lesser demons should be a lot of experience. I think we need to do the circus today. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay. Well, that's enough looking at the updates. We've got a good idea of what has changed and what hasn't. Um, what was I thinking? Right, the, uh, the circus. What levels will we gain? We'll probably gain a ranged level, maybe an agility level, hopefully a magic level. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be real good. The grass is going through it. Oh, no. And I am doing the 4x anti-aliasing now. As we discovered in the last episode, I potentially could have been doing that the whole time without lag. Who knew? Okay, let's see. How close are we now? Oh, we are so close. Of course, the bonus experience is going to run out first, but still, we're probably like, what, an inventory away? Go, go, go! Woohoo! This rhino is just staring at me, judging me, judging my level. So, 1,000, I think, is a very respectable number. Very, very respectable. Okay, that's it. Let's get more. As far as future plans, I'm hoping that within maybe by uh halloween i don't know if i mentioned this before maybe by halloween i'll have a new computer and i'll be able to record this at 1080p and stuff uh 1080p 48 fps hopefully that's my hope for this series because runescape runs at 50 fps so there's not really much of a point in doing 60. that's a bit unnecessary but 48 would make it look a lot smoother and 1080p of course is nice the screen would be less filled with menus and more with the actual gameplay. All my bonus experience, eh? Dang it. We're so close, though. It'll be, definitely be this inventory. But yeah, hopefully by Halloween, I'm going to try my hardest to get all my stuff set up so that I can be a bit more of a professional in terms of YouTubing. Right now I've just cobbled together the basic supplies I could get to do this, and I would like to have a nice microphone, a nice computer, a nice screen, and so on. Obviously those things are useful outside of YouTube, too. But that is legitimately the main reason I want this stuff. Glowing Wisps, Boon of Glowing Energy, Divine Salmon Bubble, because I do love doing YouTube. That's why I do so many videos. They might not be very popular right now, but I'm hoping someday I can at least get a decent number of subscribers where people can maybe take me a bit more seriously. Let's see, what was I uh, doing next? Slayer? I don't know. We're going to go to uh, Edgeville Bank. First, go. There you go. Okay. Because, yeah, I think nowadays, with 
so many people in the hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers that people who are in the three digits don't really get taken too seriously. So yeah, you can put out one viral video and get a bajillion subscribers. It doesn't really mean anything. Okay, let's see here. Why do I have oak logs? Brian Energy, Clue Scroll. I do need to take care of that Clue Scroll. I've got one on my main account, too. I just haven't been in the mood. Um, what was I doing? I guess Slayer. How many do I have to kill? Where is my Slayer gem? There it is. They should make the Slayer gem a pocket slot item for people who don't have the helmet. Oh, Ankus. I must have reset the task. I could have sworn I had lesser demons. How did that happen? Okay, Anku, what are Anku weak to? I have no idea. Off the top of my head. Gonna have to look it up. That's something I've been meaning to do for my Orbscape site, is add a guide for which Slayer monsters are weak to which things. So that I don't have to constantly look it up on the wiki. Ah, oh, they're weak to magic. That's perfect. Am I wearing my magic stuff? Kind of. I do need to put on this. I do need to put on this. Okay, let's let's actually see. They're called Clover, right? Clover necklace. Four leaf. Yeah, we got two four leafs. That's insane. Don't know how I had that luck. There we go. Now we have one with 20 charges. Free space. Okay, good stuff. Let's check out my inventory real quick, see if there's anything I need to change. I wonder, am I at the right tier of armor for myself? Armors. I gotta check that because I'm not too familiar with what's gone on here. Um, Where is Mystic Armor? Is what? Oh, it's a level 30 armor. Uh-oh. What is... Necromancer armor? Is that it? Where do you get necromancer armor? I gotta look this up. I've never worn necromancer before. I don't even know if it's the right one. But we will find out. Okay, here we are. Now, let's see. One thing I could do is check the magic one, see if that has an armor section. It does. Okay, so... Some stuff doesn't even have the level 40 requirement, though. Oh, well. Let's look up necromancer armor. It doesn't seem like this would be the right one. Um... Yeah, it's not even appearing. Well then, defense, tell me what my level 40 armor is. Oh, split bark, duh. What was I thinking? Okay, split bark should be cheap, I think. It's pretty easy to get. Split bark body, how much? 26k, yeah, that's fine. We got the money. I'll add plus one. Let's just put plus one on everything and see if it buys. I think the Grand Exchange has been in a bit of chaos lately. Can we see here? Yeah, I'm just wearing all Mystic right now. It's crazy. I didn't mean to click on the body. What am I thinking? All right, put an offer up for that. Boots, one, plus one. I hope at least one thing sells at this price. I have not had much luck with the Grand Exchange lately. And yeah, I could try the set, I guess. Maybe I should. With my luck, I'll buy the set only to have... Holy cow. Never mind. Is one thing really expensive like the helm? Or is that just ridiculously overpriced? Aha! Come on. There we go. Okay, split bark legs. Is that it then? After the legs? We don't need anything else? 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I think I'll skip that, to be perfectly honest. Now, this is improvement. 125 versus 90. Yeah, very good. I feel stronger and stupider looking already. Uh, actually, we'll sell it. We don't need Mystic anymore. Sell it for minus one. Wow, that's a pretty good price. Isn't that about what we... 9,000? Let me look here. Yeah, we actually profited off of that deal. It's insane. That kind of makes me want to check here. How much does Mystic Robe cost? 70? Okay, never mind. I'm willing to pay more all of a sudden. Well, maybe I should make sure I can actually buy the crap first. The reason is that Mystic is harder to get than Split Bark. Split Bark you can just make yourself by giving a little money to someone. Mystic you have to get as a drop. Now this was body. We'll try plus 5% first. Nothing. Okay, what about boots? Something has to sell for plus 5. Split Bark, boots, plus 5. Come on, sell. We are not having luck. The gauntlets are so cheap, I'll try to do, uh, I'll try to do plus ten. One, two. There we go. And there we go. Got some gauntlets so we can sell our gloves. Yeah. Not bad. A decent profit on that as well. Now for the legs. It's G Adventures today in RuneScape. Nothing. Well, hopefully those will go through because I'm not paying any more than that. Still, we've improved my defensive stats. I'm wearing everything I need to be wearing. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, I was going to make sure I have my magic spell selected, and I do. And let's get over to the Anku. I believe that's how you say it, at least. Down the hole we go. And out and around. Should I bring some food? I think I should. Let's see, what food do I have? I think I have a single cabbage. Let's see here. Cabbage, yes. We will bring the enchanted gem just in case I need to check. We will also bring four mackerel because they're taking up space and I don't need them. I think that's good enough for our first trip. Anku, I think, are on the bottom floor of the player place. Stronghold of player security. Nice elder tree. I was so happy when they added Elder Trees. It's a Barbarian. Okay, down the hole we go. Okay, okay, okay. Enter the portal. Woo! And where's the ladder down? It's across the way. And through this portal, I kind of wish there was like a skip to bottom, but there isn't. You just have to keep going through each one. Through the next portal. Ooh, look at all that water out there. Kind of weird. Down we go. The dripping vine. And here we are, Anku Land. I think the best way to get to them is actually to go through the portal. Maybe not but I feel like there's a room right up here that has some. And I'm right. What level are they? They are, ooh, level 63. That's one level higher than me. This might not go very well. Are they aggressive? They don't appear to be. Well, let's see how they fare versus my superior power and combat triangleness. Well, that was pretty easy. Good stuff. Look at all that experience. They gave me coins, they gave me gold charm, we got a treasure hunter key for some reason. Let's check that out. 
Because who knows, maybe it'll give me bonus experience. Or ammo key legs, huh? Huge agility. Daily token. What's it gonna be? Ooh, a yellow. Probably one of those two things right there. Yeah. Large fallen star. Which skill do we want to use that on? It's a large one, so I'd like to probably use it on a higher level skill. I think agility, actually. Ooh, 3k. Doesn't feel like a big number, but I think it is at this level. It's more than enough to get me to the next level, at least. I really not a huge fan of the new hit splats. Oh wow. We got a bow staff and a lift skull half already. I think they're maybe they look kinda like they're trying too hard to be fancy or artistic or something. The old ones were just fine. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the type of person who's always against the upgrades. Like, when they updated the hit the uh, hit bars, I was very happy about that, even though a lot of people weren't. So I don't just resist change, but I'm not a huge fan of the new look. Especially, they've got the healing as this light red now instead of purple, and I don't like that because it's... If you're not paying close attention, there's two different red things now. And then it's orange for, I guess, critical hits? which I thought they were getting rid of, but I guess they just got rid of the increased chance of critical hits from items. Dead. Unable to reflect damage back to this creature. Why would I be reflecting damage back? Crap. I didn't want to have that. I wanted to have my ring of wealth. That's a thing. Oh, well, these Enku are easy as pie. It's great. How much Slayer experience are we getting? With my double experience and 10% bonus, not much. It's kind of pathetic, really. Oh, well. I don't know why I'm bearing bones, honestly. It's not like I'm that low of a level. I'll probably stop now. Okay. Get off my items. Don't have a name for the rhino. Don't really care. Only have him out because of the bonus experience. If I had to choose a pet... Oh, hey, look at that. If I had to choose a pet, I'd probably have... What's his name? I forget his name. It was like a fiery-related name. The, uh, the chest. Oh, wow. Huh. If I actually needed the armor, I'd go get it. But I'll do that. I guess I'll do that now, because it's almost the end of the episode. But look at that, level 25 Slayer. Hooray, what what all we got here? Oh, I'm not in combat. Jeez. Only the mirror shield and the cockatrice. Okay. That's a new Slayer monster, at least. Now let's head on up to the Grand Exchange, and we're going to do a little exchange on my armor. So I'll have full split bark. We. Although some people were saying that they've kind of made it so armor doesn't really matter all that much anymore. Like, the main thing is your defense level nowadays, I think is what people were saying. Not 100% certain. Like, the main thing you use armor for might be either damage soaking, where it reduces your damage taken when they actually hit, or the... Uh, attack bonus from the offensive armor because as far as reducing the chances of them hitting it apparently doesn't do all that much right now okay let's go ahead and grab these geez those legs were expensive hopefully they were well worth it definitely not the nicest looking armor set this needs a graphical update to be more in line with the rest of the armors. But let's go ahead, we'll just do minus one. Dang it, I was hoping for an instant sell. Come on. 
There we go. Okay, I feel better now. Oh, and we have a battle staff to sell as well. Might as well take care of that. Good stuff. Okay, the rest of this. We do need to do Slayer to get charms. I've been surprisingly low on charms. Uh, where's my Ring of Wealth? There we go. Uh, Ring of Wealth is hiding from my brain right now. Where are you? There you are. Don't know where it was. And that takes care of that. We profited and have better armor now. Hooray! But anyway, this has been Bowl of Queso, a.k.a. Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.